All right, guys, now that we've got everything prepped up and ready to go, let's go ahead and fasten our board down first. So take these fasteners, these nylon fasteners that you have, and go ahead and just start screwing them on there, all right? And here's what I'm gonna tell you is just tighten them with your fingers for the time being. Um, sometimes people will use like a, uh, like one of these here, like a socket thing, uh, socket wrench here, and or a screwdriver, and tighten it and actually accidentally hit a component that's on here. So just tighten it with your fingers for the time being. We're not trying to crank this thing down. It's already pretty secure. Uh, but what we want to do is make sure that you're able to tighten it without hitting any of the components that are in the way or else Sometimes you'll do that somebody will do that and it'll actually just break the piece right off the board and Then you're out of luck. So just finger tighten them uh, Sometimes they can be a little stubborn, but it's still better than breaking the board So take your time, please and we're gonna tighten these down. All right, just like that. Okay All right now, once these are in place and your board is secure, okay, and you're good, and this should be it right there, all right? All right, so now what we wanna do is, okay, so we've got a couple pieces here, don't forget. Uh, we still have our, uh oh, I gotta find mine. I, I got one, I don't know where the other one went. Uh, must have fallen out of my box. Hey babe, might need some help here. Oh no, never mind, I found it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the camera mounts, right? So these are these neon camera mounts. Now, we could make these in other colors if anybody needs a different color, but we're gonna stick with what they've got right now. This should slide down right over your standoffs and it should be able to go right, your motor wire should go right near it, right? Uh, that's not the right way though. All right, so <laughs> to do this the right way, you want to put this on to where it is sitting like this, but this is on the inside. Okay, so the camera sits back a little bit for protection. So put that on that side like that. Move your motor wires out of the way. Then you can bring them back around and take this one, put it on this side like this. Move your motor wires out of the way. Okay, and there. That's how it should look. All right, so it should be tall side, but they're inside. All right, we'll, we'll put the motor wires back in a little bit. We'll also tighten the bottom in just a little bit. But right now what we want to do is get your camera. And in, with your camera came... Uh, this little packet of screws, okay, and a wrench, right, an Allen wrench, and I think this will be long enough to fit, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first, I'm not going to use the Allen wrench, you can use that, you can use your screwdriver too, here, your hex driver, so put your camera with the, uh, everything facing up and the plug in the top left, fit it in here like this, and put the screw in there, and you should, that screw, it does fit, so that should tighten down one side, okay, then get the next screw, Put it in here and tighten down the other side just like that and there you go you now have your camera there and you can take the wire for your camera which is this four plug here and you can plug it in and you'll be done wiring up your camera now be careful when you plug this in it can be a little finicky there you go it's done perfect it's a good fit everything looks good the camera's in there and it sits far back enough to be secure okay all right, the next thing we're gonna do is figure out where we wanna put our receiver and how we wanna run the wires for our receiver. So one of the things that I didn't do initially, I didn't show you guys again, but that does come with this is we created this. This is one of the parts that I came up with for this piece. And what's cool about this is if you take your antenna, right? This is what came with the flight controller, okay? And remember now, let me show you how this goes. So this, which is this washer, this uh, washer right here, this goes inside, okay? This piece with the, uh, know, it's like a washer with knocked out edges. I'm sure there's a technical term for it. That will go over this once we put this in. So you'll put this in just like this, okay? And how it's gonna fit, well, this is gonna slide over and then this will fit right in here. So line it up like that to where uh, the wire is coming out and turning to the right, okay? Then put that washer, whose name I do not know, over it like this uh oh where did I put my other piece hey see around here everything just kind of disappears and now I don't know where it went oh did it fall is it stuck to something the threaded part oh, never mind I'll grab another one because I don't know where that went so let me just grab another one from here I'm sure it's right in front of me but I just don't see it alright so it's basically four pieces. And then this is the fourth piece. This is the part that threads down here and tightens it, right? So go ahead and put that on there. And you can use the same um, tool that you used to 
tighten your prop nuts here. Here we go. Just use that and that'll tighten it perfect. Now, it may start spinning, so try to get something to hold that in place. Okay, hold the back in place so it doesn't just keep spinning when you tighten it. And just tighten it down. There you go. Now yours, this is not this is uh, not TPU. The one that you will get is made out of TPU. Okay, so just know that. Um, so, let's get this buzzer out of the way. And what happens here is this piece will actually slide over and you just have to move the motor wires again out of the way just so that this can go to the bottom. Move your motor wires out of the way. And then what you will do is you will just take your wire and fasten it and snap it in like that to your um, PTX that's on board, okay? So snap that in like that right there, all right? And the only thing left again that we're dealing with is this buzzer. Now, I guess we could put the buzzer pretty much anywhere. I don't really know. It's not a really big deal to me. Um, I don't really have a plan for it on this build. Uh, but I'm going to take this piece of paper off so we can hear it when it does go off. So for right now, I don't know. I'm going to turn on my heat gun, I guess, and I'll just I'll my glue gun and I'll glue it somewhere. That's up to y'all if y'all where you want to put it. As far as your receiver goes, well, you've got a couple options here. You want to make the receiver to, and, and you've got a couple options with your build actually, because uh, your plate here will be going on like this, right? Now you can make this a bottom mount or you could make it a top mount. It depends on how you want to do it. If you want to make it a bottom mount, which is probably what I would suggest anyway, and here's the battery strap that they gave you, right? If that's what you want to do, then you could easily take the buzzer. So we're going to feed this strap in here. Remember, you're going to feed the strap in by running the, uh, uh, the Velcro side and the, the, the textured side up, okay? And you just kind of wiggle it through. It'll come out the other side here just like that. Once you get it to the other side, just gently wiggle it through. Don't go crazy because it's still passing underneath the board with components. So just like that, right? And now you have yourself your bottom mount, okay? So if you do it like that, then what we can do is we can take the receiver and put it on the top here, all right? Now, depending on how you do it, you could put it this way and so that you could see the bind button, all right? And you can have the bind button facing the top. Probably wouldn't do that. I would just, because it's it's flat, when you put it on this way, it actually goes on really flat. So if you want, you can put it just like this, right? And just zip tie this down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a uh, dip of hot glue right here, just like this. Uh, oh, it's not on. Ah, it's been unplugged. Give me a second. Let me get plugged that in. <laughs> All right, it's gonna take a second to heat up. This is a really quick glue gun, so give me a second, I'll heat up. Okay, while that's heating up, so then what we can maybe do is we could possibly just, um, I don't know, like we could maybe glue this right here. Let me see, if that was to sit like that. For the buzzer, I don't know, I just don't like this buzzer. Uh, set up, but you know what with the glue coming on we can glue this anywhere. So just we'll glue that in just a second So we'll get a uh, zip tie if I can one. There we go. And I'll wait for this glue to heat up real quick then that'll take care of that This setup will be done and then we are headed over to beta flight and your build your build itself will be done. Now, one thing we can look at while we're doing this is, while that's heating up, so they gave us this pad here, right? And, and I'm really not sure what their intentions were with this pad because I don't see it fitting like, maybe it was, you know, it's like it doesn't go around these curves like you would think it should, right? So here's what I suggest you do. Um, I suggest you cut it like this. So uh, I would cut right in the middle of that curve then i would cut again and remove it just like that cut in the middle of the curve here and then cut again and remove it so you have a rectangle and the rectangle should fit pretty close right there i'll just take it down a little bit more okay yeah that's gonna fit if i could cut straight all right i'm gonna take that i'll put that right here Okay, 
Then I'm gonna take these curved pieces, oops, and just put them on the other ends of the screws right here, see? Just like that. Put one here, oh, let me cut that just a little bit more. Just put it right here. Okay, and the other one, I'll do the same. That'll fit, hopefully, uh, right here. If I can cut straight, we'd be a whole lot better, guys, sorry. There, okay, so there's our, I don't know why it was set like that. I've never got it to fit the way I would like it to, but this is perfect right here, and this is really thick, so it actually stands above this. All right, now our glue gun is ready. This glue is just dripping off, so let me get that real quickly. So the first thing we talked about was mounting the receiver. So here's our mount right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a dab of glue right on the center here, just like this. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my receiver. Just stick it right there, just like that. Okay. Well, it didn't move very well, so I'm just gonna heat that back up. Give me one second, let me heat this glue back up. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna take my zip tie and I'll just run it around. making sure not to get in the way of the um, bind button. And also making sure to put the buckle of the zip tie inside and not on top of the frame, okay? And there we go, all right? So there's our receiver, it's set. And we will put the wire in here. And now back to our buzzer. So with our buzzer, um, really doesn't I really don't mind where we put it to be honest with you. Uh, let's see, I still thought like that. Maybe I'll just hmm. I wonder if I can fit it in this little gap right here. If I could fit it in there that would be really ideal. Perfect, I think that does fit actually. Let me see. Let me lift this up real quick. Put that in there and then bring it back down. Let's see if that fits. No, that's not gonna work. All right, so getting creative with this. You know what, I'll just glue it right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a drop of glue here and I'm gonna put it, see where this pad is right here, this set of pads? I'm just gonna put some glue right on those pads and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right there. It stays out of everybody's way it's secure and it'll be blasting the sound out this direction all right and I'll put a little bit more glue right on the uh, back of the uh, antenna the 3d print okay so there finally we've got the big problem with the uh, thing done the mount is finished and now we can go ahead and put everything back together all right so let me show you how we do that here real quickly we'll bring everything in that perfect and we'll put the top on uh oh wait a minute all right so i'm gonna need to move this down just a tad because the end of the receiver ah, darn it, is hitting this 
print. So let me do that real quickly. Let me see if I move it to here. I'll be okay. All right, so I'm gonna move it to here because I'm taking the antenna and sending them out this area right here, okay? So let's just use that as your guide. So we'll send that right here. And that's where we'll use the next zip ties to have that fastened. There we go, one and two. And I am just going to get some glue on there real quick to hold it. strings of glue sorry all right now what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll mount it make sure all your wiring is nice and clean out of the way and we'll take this and mount it here just like that and now we will take our screws that were left and put those on okay there's one Let me get this trash out of here. There's the third. And then let me get the fourth screw. And there we go. Okay. Now, flipping this over, go back and tighten the other screws. Okay, one, two, and to the standoffs. There you go. Three, and four. Okay, then you can come in here and you can tighten the arm screws if you want a little bit more. If you haven't done that, and these outside ones. All right, and on the inside ones, uh, let me see. You can get to them out of the cameras in the way, so you can remove your camera. Tighten those if you haven't done so already. Make sure your wires are tucked in nicely, just like that. Everything else is brought in. And you've pretty much closed up. There it is. So you've got your quad. Uh, less the glue. There you go. And now, so I have this little gap right here. Now what I'll do is if I'm actually doing this one, I will put some glue right in this gap here, right? To kind of flush it, make it flush with the frame top. All right, and you can just wipe away the glue that you don't need. But what that'll do is that'll make that'll make the uh, where it sticks here uh, very nice. It'll it'll keep it really solid to that frame. All right, so now what we're going to do is when we come back, we're going to set up the antenna. But that's your frame pretty much closed up and ready to go. Everything now is in position, so you just clean it up now. Get all the excess if you have glue strands or whatever. Uh, get those off. Get everything cleaned up. Make it look presentable. And we're going to come back here put these down and then we're off to beta flight guys. So see you in just a minute.